Are you a chicken or an eagle? Think about it and let it sink in. And I'll come back to you on this very question in a few minutes. But for now, a good afternoon to each and every one of you. Welcome to SHIP's first ever virtual career fair. I'm Raquel Tamez, the CEO of SHIP, for those of you who may not know me. And on behalf of our organization and our familia, I want to thank the 1,000 plus students and professionals and our corporate and academic partners who signed up to take part in this exciting endeavor. Today, you'll connect with organizations from across the country through one-on-one -on -one webcasts, and it's an opportunity to explore careers and opportunities in a variety of disciplines and business sectors and industries. It's also a chance to broaden your network, all from the comfort of your home. Of course, you're probably over the whole comfort from your home, because I know I am. After a month of being cooped up, it's easy to feel down and dejected, like the world and our lives will never go back to normal, at least before the pandemic. But that's what makes your participation in this career fair so inspiring. Rather than wait out this crisis and hope for the best, you're choosing to take action. You're taking your career and your future into your own hands. And believe me, the organizations you'll be meeting with today, they recognize that. You're exactly the kind of employees and students they're looking for. Smart, hardworking, energetic, tech savvy, and ready to meet any challenge. Just by being here, you exemplify something that we Hispanics have shown throughout our history. Resilience. From conquest and war to economic political upheaval, Hispanics define what it means to be resilient. If we can survive all that, we can survive this, this pandemic, and emerge stronger than ever. At the same time, resilience isn't a light switch that you can flip on and off. It's an attitude. It's a way of navigating life. It's something you practice and cultivate. And even if you land an interview or an internship or a job offer today, the sobering fact remains that the road ahead remains uncertain. Walking it will require continued resilience. And like every long journey, the only way to get where you're going is by taking one step at a time or in our current shelter in place reality, one day at a time. You see, being resilient isn't always about these big, dramatic, heroic actions. Often, it's the small adjustments you make, the pivots, the little things that define resilience. This includes things like when you initially, you might not want to do, like exercising routinely or eating healthy consistently and using technology effectively to communicate. Now more than ever, it's crucial that we practice self-care to let to not let ourselves fall into bad habits and scattershot routines. This is the time to stay in the game, to stay in the arena. Even in my downtime, I have found small ways to practice resiliency. Keeping up with a rigorous early morning routine to get myself grounded, cooking healthy meals instead of ordering out, 
going on long outdoor runs and using items from around the house to do high intensity interval training sessions to stay fit. I also readily carve out time to meditate and to read. And if you've ever read my CEO corners, then you know I love to incorporate bits of wisdom from various sources. And recently I read an article that captured this idea of resilience so poignantly. It was written by Kelly Benamati, a blogger from the Huffington Post. And she posed the simple question that I posed to you just now. Are you a chicken or an eagle? While eagles soar with other eagles high in the sky, surveying the landscape for opportunities Chickens tend to have tunnel vision, content to merely scratch around on the ground trying to survive. That might sound simplistic, even a bit juvenile, but it's actually a play on an old fable. In the original story, a newborn eagle falls from his nest and he's found by a farmer who brings him to his chicken coop, where he grows up believing he's a chicken. And one day, a naturalist visits the farm and notices this eagle acting like a chicken. And for two days, the naturalist tries to convince the eagle to fly, to embrace his inner strength and innate attributes. And each time, the eagle jumps back in the coop with the other chickens. So finally, on the third day, the naturalist takes the eagle to the top of a nearby mountain, and only then does the eagle see the greater world, and the eagle then taps into its true nature, and off he soars into the big wide open sky. What's the lesson here? We might have circumstances, or even people in our lives that hold us back, but if you have someone who sees your inner strength and your potential, a mentor that believes in your ability to rise above those circumstances and to unchain yourself from those that might be keeping you down, then the sky's the limit. And Chip can be and is willing and able to be that mentor if you don't already have one. It's what we've done for more than 45 years and why we've continued to enhance existing programs and services and to innovate and design new ones. If you're a Hispanic interested in STEM and not yet a SHIP member, consider joining our organization, our familia. And if you used to be a member, but left for whatever reason, then there's never been a better time to take advantage of our dynamic programming and services. That's what being resilient is partly about, identifying and ceasing the opportunities when they're clear and obvious, but also looking for the opportunities when they may not be clear and evident. It means taking decisive action and not just making the best of a bad situation, but turning a bad situation into something good and maybe even something great. No one ever said it would be easy. In a sense, all of us are cooped up, just like those chickens. And that much is out of our, and that much is out of our control. We didn't choose this, but we can choose our perspective and our response. We can choose how we leverage the resources available to us, even if they are limited. If you're watching this, you've chosen to use some of the tools you have to take flight and to survey the landscape for the next great opportunity, just like an eagle. Of course, the t these tools aren't equally available to everyone. Just the other day, another 5 million people filed for unemployment in the US, bringing the total to 22 million in just the past month. It's staggering. And many of those people filing are Hispanics. And you might even know one of them. You might even 
be one of them. People are hurting and people are suffering. And without a computer and a reliable internet connection, in many instances, it's nearly impossible to get the kind of altitude that allows one to see what is available. At the same time, there are opportunities out there. There's lots of them. And there will be when the crisis subsides. And the crisis will subside. Take advantage of these opportunities, even if it may not be a perfect match at first glance. Take flight and see what's out there. And here's my challenge to you today. As you navigate this career fair, don't just do it for yourself. Do it for those who can't take flight, for those that can't participate in this virtual career fair. Maybe it's people you know, family members, friends, fellow students, or members. Maybe it's someone you've never met. I'm not suggesting that you go and, and find a job for these individuals, but think about them. Tap into them, tap into the goodwill and the positive energy and the optimism for, for the future. Because if this crisis has taught us anything, it's how we're connected, how we're interdependent on one another in ways we've never imagined. When it ends, this crisis, we'll need this sense of solidarity more than ever. And there's a quote in that Eagle and Chicken article that I mentioned earlier that really struck me. It's from Thomas Carlyle, a British writer and philosopher who said, the block of granite, which was an obstacle in the pathway of the weak, becomes a stepping stone in the pathway of the strong. COVID-19 is that block of granite. And to overcome and conquer it, we need to see it not as an obstacle in our way, but as a stepping stone to a better world, a mountain from which we can take off and fly. With that, it's time for you to see what's out there to take flight, to survey the landscape and find the next great opportunity. So good luck today. Thank you. Mil gracias, un abrazo fuerte, wishing each and every one of you the very best today and always. Namaste.